Howdy, I'm Dr. Taylor Marshall. I'm the president of the New St. Thomas Institute, and I'm also a speaker at the Applied Biblical Studies and the Defending the Faith Conference. Uh, we're talking about the seed, and you went to a conference, you came here, you got excited, you learned about your faith, maybe you experienced a conversion, maybe you experienced a reconversion, a reversion back to your faith, maybe you came with someone and they experienced a conversion. I know in my own life, when I became a Catholic, I was excited, I was full of zeal, it was a joyful time, but as the weeks passed and as the months passed, um, I had a lot of questions, I had a lot of concerns, I even had discouragement, even kind of a time of depression. And it's kind of like that seed, you know, it goes down into the dirt and it's kind of alone, it's in the darkness, it's dirty. I think we all experience that in our Catholic life, it's normal. Um, and what that seed needs at that moment is energy. It needs sunlight, it needs water, it needs fertilizer, and so how can we do that? Well. I would encourage you to commit to a daily rhythm of prayer, a daily cycle of prayer. In the morning, do that morning offering. Maybe say three Hail Marys for Holy Purity to, to you know, stay away from sins. Maybe the Angelus at noon. And then in the evening, a examination of conscience and to be alone with the Lord. And that way your day is, is molded around Christ and around prayer. I'd also encourage you to take up a plan of reading sacred scripture. If we don't have scripture, we can't grow closer to Christ. So we need to find a way that we can, especially focus on the Gospels, the New Testament, but also the Old Testament. We need the old and the new. And I think perhaps just as important as prayer and reading the sacred scripture, we need good friends. Iron sharpens iron. And we need people who are solid Catholics, who have formed their conscience, and who are going to encourage us along the way, and they're going to inspire us to come to conferences like this, um, but also to get back to confession and to come to Mass, or maybe come to daily Mass, or come to a retreat, and just to keep us accountable and to keep us encouraged, because we can't just go off by our own and continue to have this zeal. We need other people. We need a community. We need a communion of saints that are always building us up. So those three things, I think, as you plant that seed of conversion and deeper commitment to Christ, you need the prayer every day, several times throughout the day. You need the pattern of reading sacred scripture daily. And then you need to be surrounded by people who love Christ and love you and will continue to lift you up as you grow and bear fruit.